It is August 7th, 2007. You're listening to the Final Curve Podcast, brought to you by Kyle Stevens. episode we're going to go through how to personalize your class on Edline. First thing we want to do obviously is log into Edline. Once we've logged into Edline on the main page we will identify where our class list is. The class will be listed on the left side of the page. I'm going to select this class. Once you've logged into the specific class we're able to personalize it by changing three features. The name of the class, the image, and the class description. Well, these three items may not serve any type of purpose as far as directly giving specific information to the students and the parents. It is a good way to set the tone at the beginning of the year as to what the class is about So what we'll do first is we're going to go to the command center. On the left side of the screen, below the command center, is manage class. By selecting manage class, this will take us to the class information page. Again, here are listed for us the class name, the class description, and the image. For the class name, I will modify this more for my benefit than for the benefit of the students. While the individual students most likely will only be enrolled in one English one course, for me it will be helpful to identify on my main page which specific course this is. While most of the information, if I have multiple sections of English one, most of this information will be similar. This will help me identify if I'm looking for something specific within a specific class. The class identification number you should leave alone. This is set up for each specific class and will coordinate with your grade book. So if you mess with it, you're going to have some problems with your grades. The class description is a good place for us to set the tone as far as what the course will be over, what the expectations are, uh, that type of general information. So briefly we're going to replace the standard class description of Welcome to English 1 with some helpful information about what the course will entail. You can provide as much or as little information as you like. The third item I can use to personalize my class is the image. Now it states you can headline will support graphics either in GIF, JPEG, or PNG file formats. Before loading up in these formats, it's good to check the specific size of the picture that you're going to load. Uh, the height does not matter as much as the size. If the file is over 75 kilobytes, it will be difficult to dis for people to display if someone's using a dial up connection and it could distort the uh, overall setup of your class. So I'm going to go to my pictures. And then choose a file that I know is below the 75 kilobyte recommendation. Once I've loaded up this file, I can scroll down here to the bottom and save my page. 
this will return us back to the individual course homepage, and as we can see the changes have already gone through this is now identified as English 1 H block again this is more for my benefit than it is necessarily for the students because now as I go to check my classes I can see which period specifically the course is for if I'm teaching multiple sections of the same class that way you can save a little bit of time when I'm looking for H block rather than D block directly below the picture is the course description again giving myself an opportunity to inform the teachers or inform rather the students and the parents a little bit more about what the course will entail rather than just simply English 1. This is a brief overview of what you can do to personalize your class so it looks a little bit different from everyone else's. Give you a little bit of unique touch to it. This is the first in a series of helpful tutorials on Edline. Thanks for spending the time to, with us today to go over this information. If you have any specific requests on information with Edline or any other information, please feel free to email me. And thanks for listening to the Final Curve podcast.